This video is the third one in our series on complex numbers, and we're going to start out with multiplying binomials, including the i. Multiplying binomials is still FOIL, whether it's an i or a radical or just plain old whole numbers. You just have to FOIL this out. So we'll start with, you know, the first. So 5 times 3 gives us 15, and we'll come across the top. 5 times 4i is 20i. The inside here, negative 6i. And negative 2i times 4i is negative 8i squared. But we have to do a little bit of cleaning up. First off, you notice that you have common terms right here you can put together. But also, we know that i squared is going to convert to negative 1. So this is where we can cross this out and change the sign, which then also gives us other like terms we can put together. So 15 plus 8 is 23. 20i minus 6i is 14i. And that would be the procedure on all of these. So go through the FOIL steps. 2 times 3 is 6. Across the top gives us 2i. Inside here is 21i. Multiplying your last terms is 7i squared. There are some automatic like terms. We're going to cross that out, change that sign, and put those like terms together. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. 2i plus 21i is 23i. When you look at this problem, if you notice that it's that special difference of two squares set up, you won't have to do this much work. But if you don't, you go ahead, you FOIL it out, and you recognize that those things cancel out. If you recognize that this is the special product, you don't have to do the inside and the outside. All you have to do is the first times the first, that's your 25, and your last times the last. Negative, four, negative 2i times 2i is negative 4i squared. This still crosses out and changes the sign, and all we get is 29. So if you don't recognize that it's special, you just FOIL it out, and then the middle stuff cancels out. Something important on this one, and that's you must remember when you square a binomial, the first thing you have to do is write out the two binomials. Now we're going to FOIL it following the same rules. It gives us this product. We have like terms here. We're also going to cancel out that i squared, change the sign. Notice these do not cancel out. They are both positive. We're going to combine them and get 40i. 16 minus 25 is negative 9. So that's FOILing with your i's. Now a little more difficult with the foiling is if you have radicals and i's, but it's still the same procedure. So when you multiply here, now this is the most complicated. Sometimes people get confused on this. This times this. You're doing 2 times 1. That's where this 2 comes from. But you should remember that radical 5 times radical 5 is just plain old ordinary 5. That's where this comes from. The rest of this is pretty normal. Multiply 2 radical 5 times i is just 2i radical 5. 3i times radical 5, 3i radical 5. And 3i times negative i is negative 3i squared. We're still going to be able to cross that out and change that sign. We're going to do this arithmetic right here. 2 times 5 is 10. We're going to put this together. These are like terms because they are both i times radical 5. So negative 2 of those plus 3 of those is one of those. Last thing is to put the 10 and the 3 together. This is division, and you may look at this and think, well, there's nothing wrong with this. It can't be simplified. But remember what i stands for. i stands for the square root of negative 1. That means you have a radical in the denominator, and you can't have that. So you want to get rid of it. And your first inclination might be to, oh, let's just multiply top and bottom by i. Well, if you do that, I'm not worried about the top. Look at the bottom. 3 times i is still 3i. Yes, this i squared I'm going to be able to cancel out and get rid of, but I still have an i. So what that says is, Multiplying just by i over i won't do it. If you have a binomial denominator that involves i, you must multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. And what conjugate refers to is keep the terms the same, but just change the sign. Since this was 3 minus i, make it 3 plus i. The only sign you are changing is the sign in the middle. Don't do anything to the front. You're only changing the sign in the middle. So what we have to do here is FOIL this out. 6 times 3 is where I get 18. 6 times i is the 6i. 2i times 3 is another 6i. And 2i times i is 2i squared. The denominator, this is going to be a special product. I don't have to do the full-blown FOIL because I know the middle stuff will cancel out. So all I have to do is 3 times 3 is 9. Negative i times positive i is negative i squared. Now there's some cleaning up we can do. We know we can cross this out and change the sign. We have some like terms right here. But here's something that you have to be very careful with. When you cross this out and change the sign, you might think that your denominator is 9, but it's not. You have to remember there is a coefficient of 1 sitting here. 
So this is really 9 plus 1 in the denominator. So cleaning up the top there, put our 6 i's together gives us 12 i. 18 minus 2 is 16. 9 plus that 1 gives us 10. Now there's two things we have to do here. We have to clean this up a little bit, and that is because our answers need to be in the form a plus b i, I need to separate this out. So very simple, just put 16 over 10, put the 12 i over 10. But the other thing you have to do, and this doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen in this case, is reduce fractions if possible. Well, this does reduce by 2, this reduces by 2, and we end up with 8 fifths plus 6 fifths i. Another problem, we're going to multiply by the conjugate, which is 4 minus 3i on the top and the bottom. Foil that out on the top. That's the full foil. You can stop the video if you need to and look at those steps. The bottom, it's just a matter of doing the first times the first and the last times the last because it's the special product. We have designed this special product so that the middle stuff cancels out. Clean this up. Cross out our i squared. Change the sign. Cross out that i squared. Change the sign. And then put these like terms together which is going to give us this, because this was changed to minus. 12 minus 15 is negative 3. A negative 9i and a negative 20i is negative 29i. With this change that we made, 16 plus 9 is 25. We still need to put this in the right form, so separate it out. But in this case, there's no reducing I can do after that, so I'm finished with that problem. You might have one where you have a monomial in the numerator, but you still have a binomial in the denominator. That says you still need to multiply by the conjugate. Also, I want to emphasize that we are only changing the sign in the middle. We are not changing that sign. So the conjugate of the bottom is negative 1 minus 3i. We did not change the front sign. It's only the middle sign. The top is a distributing. Negative 4i times negative 1 is a positive 4i. Negative 4i times negative 3i is positive 12i squared. The bottom is still this idea that the middle stuff's going to cancel out. So all I need to do is negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. Clean up these i squareds, cross that out, change the sign, cross that out, change the sign. And we will have 4i minus 12 over 10. That's a 10 because we changed that sign. Separate this out. 4i over 10 minus 12 over 10. And there's two things we have to do here. One is reduce, but the other is, again, we're looking at a plus bi as our form. And notice the way this came out, the i was in the front. So all we got to do is reduce and swap it around. So I reduced this to become negative 6 fifths, and it went to the front. I reduced this, and I put it in the back because that's the imaginary term.